example of talking again, if you're gonna say like sir, here it's like sir. No? <laughs> yeah. do you, 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 you say it this time. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir Mark. <laughs> What a beautiful feeling this is. We got an umaga from Bulacan. I'm heading up what I think is called the Tabang River. Uh, it's just kind of this massive canal system that's gonna take me up to an actual river. We're making our way through a new area of Bulacan around the back of Manila maybe, towards Rizal. Let's see what happens today, 6 a.m. in the morning. Gising na. Bustos 1917 to 2017, that is what you'll see written on this clock tower which celebrates a hundred years of this municipality here in kind of the middle of the province of Bulacan. It used to be a part of Baliwag, now it stands alone and as I was driving up here, a lot of rice fields, a little bit of commerce kicking around and yeah, this is actually I think one of four clock towers you can find all around the province. Good morning, a little bit misty, no rain, 7.15. We're gonna head down the road and maybe look for somewhere to have a coffee. Beautiful. Just a kilometer down the road, right hand side. Pain Loco. It looks like a jitney slash house slash tambay, camping chairs, and they have coffee. I got a great coffee, and now I've met Kuya Mike, who's from Plaridel, the next municipality over. And I was asking him, to, you're Bulacanio, no? Yeah. Now, how do Bulacanio speak? They have like an accent, no? Yeah, we have. And I know style mo. I know. It's like Kumain Kanaba. <laughs> Kumain Kanaba? Yeah. It's like a Malambing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something like that. Ah, cool, man. So I asked him, Ganina, I was like, is there any sort of special word or anything in Bulacan? But he told me Bulacanios are really Tagalog, but they'll speak with a Malambing kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. how about if Inum Kanaba? Ah, Kumain Kanaba. Kumain Kanaba. Yeah, like that. Oh, I, get, I, get, I get it, I get it. Kumain Kanaba. <laughs> how do you how do you speak Malambic? Try to figure that out. So, her, uh, you recommended the, the owner just showed up. <laughs> What's your name again, bro? Mark. Mark. Mark, Mark cool, good. man. Nice, to see, nice to see you. And he just ordered himself empatido with where's the where's the toyo from again? Bulinal, Bulinal, Pangasinan. Pangasinan. Yeah, yeah. And they opened this in March, right? Yeah, yeah, March. They were basically doing frozen goods during the pandemic, and then they wanted to open a cafe, so they came up with this kind of concept. Yeah. What's your best sellers here? Yeah, our best sellers is sirloin tapa. Okay. And then we also have a lichon pork cc made in Lokban. Ah, cool. So we also have your vegan longanisa made in Ilocos. So I, I wasn't going to eat, I was just going to drink coffee, but now he's convinced me. So I'll tell you what, you tell me what to order and I'll order something. Just one thing, something like this. Your, your decision. Lichon pork seasoning. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. Okay, bro. Question. <laughs> Sorry, you're eating. San Galen's a Jeep. Where's the Jeep from? Malabon. 
Okay. So we got uh, we got our gym mm. in Marabon, but it's not functioning already. So then when our the contractor uh, got this one, he decided to uh, to get a gym, the Sarau brand, which is the legendary brand here in the Philippines, the legendary brand of jeepney here in the Philippines. Ah, so that's this one. Okay, cool yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Sarau. Yeah, really having a lot of fun with this now. Example of talking again. If you're gonna say like, sir, here it's like, sir. No. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you say it this time. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir Mark. <laughs> sir. Sir. Sir Kulas. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> and then literally, um, literally Kuyo, Kuyo, Kuyo was saying that when he went to Manila to study, yeah. you kind of lost your pitch. For yeah, a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then when he came back, he kind of got it back. Yeah, after one day, two days. Came back. So really <laughs> talking with a pitch. I guess I guess that sir like sir but that here is in the it? Philippines we call it punto. Punto. So, so punto meaning high pitch. Okay. Or that's okay. a pitch when you're speaking. There's a punto. Punto. Yeah. Punto. Like, yeah, like in Batanga uh in Batangas when oh. we talk to a Batangueño then we discovering like he's saying ala eh okay he's he, he got a Batangueño punto. Alright. Take care. <laughs> See you guys. Salama. Thank you, bud. Fantastic food. Such a good vibe. Nice concept. Really, really worth stopping there. Highly suggest it. So. So. <laughs> Gonna practice. Anytime I see fresh bukayo on the side of the road, which is like sugar and coconut mixed together into a patty of awesomeness, I have to get it. So 10 pesos. Pretty delawapo. Look at that puto. Rungai Matiktik, Norza Gaurai, Bulacan. And as you can see, there is a river. And all the way kind of up and down it, there's a few areas that have cottages and kind of tambai sections. Uh, this is just kind of a random little local one here. But as you can see, it come down to the river. And there's more across to the other side. A uh, whole bunch up there towards the town, municipality. And then as you go down that way, maybe 600, 700 meters, there's this big, kind of strange, funky looking swimming hole uh, with a lot of cottages, and I think a lot of people hang out there on weekends. The river's quite shallow. Uh, I just saw a lady actually crossing it, and I guess a lot of locals from this town probably come and tan by and get some nature here, take a bath, hang out, have a drink, do some super sugbo, whatever. Kind of uh, interesting as you go to the east in Bulacan, you see a lot more greenery, kind of stretches up to nature. I know there's an area called DRT that's on another section, um, that's another municipality. But I won't be going there today, I'm going to be heading down towards San Jose del Monte City and kind of looping around the back side of the National Capital Region. Uh, yeah, no swimming today. Kind of a funky area here because in the distance you do see some like quarries or some mines and you see some factories and such um, but then down here you know the river I mean it looks pretty clean looks pretty funky and yeah cool area to check out scored some bukayo let's keep going
I decided to keep driving straight ahead. I'm trying to loop behind these kind of big quarrying factories. Uh, beautiful little tree cover here on this bumpy little road. Look at that. Google Maps says wholesome Philippines Bulacan plant. I believe that's cement. And I believe it's to my right. I found the Barangay Road, back to the highway. Gonna turn off in a sec here in San Jose del Monte and try and take a back route to Rizal province, bypass the uh, Manila area. Welcome to Camp Cuisina's Corner, and I'm not 100% certain, but I think I just crossed into Rizal province. Uh, just down below is Manila. You can see in the distance there's some rice fields, and then there's what's called the La Mesa watershed, which I think is the area that supplies all the water to the NCR, and then the city. I'm up here bypassing uh, everything, and just kind of in the mountainside. It's really green, it's really beautiful. Got another coffee, this time just a stick in a cup. But I wanna ask which way is the best to get to Antipolo. So I might just see Yeah. it make too long. San San Rodriguez and Antipolo. Which like if goes to go Punta Rodriguez Antipolo. Oh I think but this but uh well traffic this way, Diva. Oh fights, okay, cool. And is this Dito Rizal province now? Oh this is Rodriguez. Already in Rodriguez. Okay, cool. I'm in Rodriguez. Little muddy road. I have a feeling I might end up passing by the watershed as I head towards Antipolo here, but we will find out soon. First time of tinging. Look at that. No way. Maliit, diba? Apo, maliit. Saan galing dito? Dito lang po. Hello. Magandang tangali. <laughs> so, very rare to see native apples in the Philippines. Ma Ma kilo? 120 po. 120? How many in, uh, how, how many uh, kilo ba? Try po natin. Try, try lang, oh. That's so Half cool. Lang po. Are they, are they tamis? Apo, matamis din po siya. Pero hindi siya yung ganun ka, ano ha, sa... Oh, promise though, huh? The mas masara? Ay, marami ang palahati. Eh. Oh. Masarap yan. So interesting. Yan. Sige, sige. One, two, three, four, nine. Nine. I will buy nine native apples. Sige, pabili po. Sige, pabili po. Sige, pabili po. Oh, pabili po. Pwede yung tikpa niya? Sige po. Ay, dito ka lang. Para sige po. Oh, you sure? I can, I can just pay. It's okay. Oh. Ayan. Okay. My first ever Native apple in Rodriguez Rizal. Rodriguez Rizal, diba? Okay, we're good. Here we go. Mmm! Master app, it's like a Macintosh apple in Canada, but the mini version. It's good. Yeah, it's like mini version. I like it. Maliit ba? Maliit. Mmm, good. Kailan mag season? Um, like ilang, ilang harvest is like a taon. First time, first time. No way. So very rare. Rare. Oh, wait a minute. Is that star fruit? Star fruit. Okay, and the star fruit. I just noticed it. Is it uh, right? Balimbing. Hmm? Tagalog. Balimbing. Balimbing. Yeah. Balimbing. Is it? Is this right? Is it right? No, right. Right. Yes. I know. I know Tagalog right, ba? Oh, he knows him. Okay, see. Na 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 katira ko Dabao, Mindanao. So Murunang Bisaya. Pero sa Bisaya, he knows is right. So same, same. Okay. Is this he knows? Apo. Eto he knows to. Magkano ang kilo? Magkano ta eighty lang? Eighty. Okay, sixty. Oh. Sixty ang kilo. 
Pretty big half kilo, just Gusi go, Gusi go take man, but <laughs> try. Bully. This is not bully. calamansi. What? Bully, bully? Bully, bully. <laughs> bully or bully, bully? Bully. Bully. I thought this is calamansi. This is called bully. How, how do you eat it? Paanopo, paanopo makumain. Slice lang po siya. And then, ano, ito po yung kakainin. No way. It's like kaong. But is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kaong, pero iba. Iba siya sa kaong. Pwede ko take one? Yeah, take yeah. One? Okay, I'm gonna try this. So... Ay, ay ito na lang oh, po. Oh, it's easy. Para siyang sago. Oh, it's like sago. Wala okay. yeah. Thank you po. Pero bakit parang... No way. This is so cool. So it's like a little sago. Wala siyang, ano, hindi siya matamis. Hindi din siya, ano, sakto lang. Yeah, it's just like a... Yeah. It's like good for um, Ginyu Tang Bilo Bilo. Apa, apa, mm. yan. Nice, this is cool. I didn't know this. So, this is called Bully. 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 Sounds like Magsayao, Bully Bully. <laughs> yeah, like Bully Bully Bully. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much taste. It reminds me of Ka Ong or that Nipa fruit that we harvested in Kata Il. I can't believe that. You know what? The whole time, Kasabot Masaya. Pilak pilak ato yung dery sa mga viewers. Ah, ano? Six years na. Six years pero unsay mo lugar sa mas pate? Um, San Pascual po. San Pascual. Oh, hey, uh, actually, swerte na ko so so una magtanawa sa Facebook. Na na koy bar na na barko gikin San Andreas to San Pascual. Sa San Pascual. Na na. Na. Let's let's Burias Island. Oh, Burias Island. Holy smokes! This is the place I'm thinking about going po hon. Cause gusto ko punta. Gusto ko sorry na punta tagalog. Gusto ko add to dito. So is there actually still like Karun? Maganda, maganda. Na na barko Karun. Like. Nice. Just never know who you're gonna meet when you stop at Sorry Sorry's and local fruit stands and just good vibes. Ah, even the other Ate said that her husband is Bisaya. I can't remember Bisaya, Doris Rodriguez. So, anyways, I got some native apples. Got some star apples. Got some information about a boat that I was wondering about. So now we carry on. Bully, bully, pero bully. Passed through Marikina, made it to the highway here in the Antipolo. See you when I get to a cafe. Crescent Moon Cafe is absolutely beautiful. Check this place out. It's like uh, you're surrounded by nature and then this kind of structure here, which is a new one, I think kind of supposed to look like a Crescent Moon or something. I'll take a walk up in a bit. In the meantime, fantastic menu here. I literally just typed in salad antipolo into the Facebook search bar. This place came up. What these are, are jackfruit vegetarian burger sliders and then I had a pomelo catfish salad which arrived first right here the catfish in it kind of reminds me of like a chicharron style it's just like a little bit fried really crispy so and then in the Philippines when you eat langka, it can be like a substitute for meat because the texture really has that kind of firm, I don't know, meatiness to it. Yeah. We're walk, walking up. Wine glass wall. Wine glass wall, that's one more. Oh yeah, cool. Wine glass wall. Ano pang alam mo puro? Fey, sir. Fey, cool. This is Ate Fey. She was the waitress. Ah, oh, so this is another restaurant section. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Wow. 
she's about to turn on the lights, and you're gonna see this go, wow. Oh, there, timing. Oh, bird months. Got the Christmas tree. Beautiful. Pretty much the long po. Ilang years ang crescent moon? Uh, the crescent moon is uh, it's almost 25 years. Oh, so really matagal. Okay. Yes po, and that one is the old main dining. And this building po is um, up to two years pa lang siya this coming November. And if you want to take a look, our wine glass inside the uh, toilet. It's nice also. Wait, is this the CR? Yeah. Okay, CR tour. You know it's a cool place when we're going in the CR. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's... That's the crescent moon. Yeah. Oh, and then you use wine bottles. Okay, sakto. That's so nice. You open the light, it's not uh, really beautiful. But then, if you close that light, that's interesting. Oh, that's yeah, all the green and the. That's a cool concept. Laguna Bay. I can see all the way down right now to what is the largest lake in the entire Philippines. Stringy, coconutty sugariness. Ten pesos. Never miss it. Hala ai. Hala ai. Hala. Hala ai. Hala. Hala ai. Wait. Hala ai. Hala ai. Hala ai. Oh, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hala ai. Hala. Hala ai. Hala ai. Yes. Okay. And it is. Pililia. Pililia. Okay. I'm in Pililia. I'm in Rizal. What's your name on YouTube? What's your name on YouTube? Becoming Filipino. Up here. Filipino. Oh, the kids. The kids are hanging out while I was droning. The man always having a shot down there. One sec. One sec. I know. I'm gonna go see his head. Hello. A five, 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 a the biggest lake in the Philippines, it's sunset. I'm in a barangay, I'm gonna sort things out. I'll just see you when I'm gonna. Hala. Hala hai. Hala hai. One more time, sorry, man. Again, again. Hala hai. Hala hai. Okay. All right. The lake's beautiful. I just wanted to show you the lake. See you later. And there's windmills. Not windmills, I'm on windmills. Windmills. Ramming windmills to us. So. Good night. See you later. Gotta go.